многомиллионная команда. Нас ждет успех. Can a leader be too perfect? He is a superhero. He is some kind of Superman for us. Can his flawless intellect and unmatched strength make him somehow more than a man? Россия! Россия! At what point does a mortal ruler become a living god? Will I be sitting here till I'm 100 years old? This is the daily showography of Vladimir Putin, democracy's super czar. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin grew up with everything a Soviet child could ever want. Communal housing. And that's it. We lived in a small room, all three of us, in a communal apartment in Leningrad with no private facilities. We didn't even have our own bath or shower. It was all the fun of a college dorm, but with way more drinking. From birth, greatness was in his blood. His father was a party member, and his grandfather was a cook for Joseph Stalin, giving Vladimir access to all the flavors of Soviet Russia, from bland to cold to gray. It was a movie that set Putin on his life's path. The Shield and the Sword, about a dashing Soviet spy, inspired him to join the KGB. He'd be the Russian James Bond, meaning the guy trying to kill James Bond. By 1985, Putin was a lieutenant colonel in the KGB, stationed in glamorous East Germany. But in 1989, tragedy struck. A crowd of Germans driven mad by the decadent Western influences of Coca-Cola and blue jeans descended upon the Berlin Wall. They smashed it to bits, and then, looking for more souvenirs they could later sell to history nerds, they gathered around Putin's station. The Berlin Wall might have fallen, but a great man does not crumble so easily. Putin ran to the basement and set all the KGB's documents on fire. Then he went outside and told the crowd they would be shot if they didn't leave. What an honor for those Germans to be there for the future leader's first death threat. Through his heroic actions that day, Putin survived. But sadly, the Soviet Union did not. When I say that the fall of the USSR was one of the greatest catastrophes of the 20th century, I'm talking about a humanitarian catastrophe above all. After the dissolution of the USSR, 25 million Russians suddenly found themselves in a foreign country. That's right. Millions of Russians had to order whole new address labels. Was the downfall of communism really worth that? But Russia and Putin persevered. Under the steady leadership of the incredibly competent Boris Yeltsin, Putin rose through the political ranks, eventually becoming prime minister. The Russian public wanted to know, who was this young and objectively perfect man? To answer that, Putin commissioned a documentary about his life, just like Beyonce. And Putin's film? was even cooler. He commissioned this rarely seen documentary about himself, presenting Vladimir Putin, the credits read, in power. Weirdly, the soundtrack is from the Broadway show Cats. It was without question the second most disturbing movie ever to feature songs from Cats. In 1999, Boris Yeltsin abruptly resigned from the presidency to spend more time with his drinking problem. And Putin became the second elected and first permanent president of Russia. He proved himself not just a formidable head of state, but a man of many talents. A beast master. <laughs> An adventurer, a sportsman, and a born entertainer. The moon stood still on Blueberry Hill. Vladimir Putin is truly a quadruple threat. Quintuple if one of the threats is making actual threats. 
But most of all, President Putin is a protector of Russia's fragile democracy. A role he takes so seriously that every election he does whatever is necessary to stop inferior candidates from winning. For this devotion, his citizens have rewarded him with the presidency again and again by literally unbelievable margins. Vladimir Putin will lead Russia for another six years. He cruised to an expected victory in yesterday's presidential election, winning nearly 77% of the vote. Check this brazen ballot stuffing caught on camera. In these videos verified by the AP, voters seem to insert multiple ballots. One election official appears to stroll over to a box, stuff it, while no one in the room seems to mind. Yes, Putin respects people's right to vote so much that he lets them vote two, three, or 78 times in the same election. It wasn't all smooth sailing, though. One time, Putin briefly had to let a friend be president for him until he could run again. And then he had to make a tiny change to the Constitution so he could run again again. And again. As Russia has thrived, so has the man who embodies it. For his steadfast commitment to fighting corruption, Russian oligarchs and energy executives have gifted Putin with tens of billions of dollars. My personal suspicion is that certainly Mr. Putin is the richest man in Europe, possibly on the planet. Money, money. Yeah, I need it, my hands and that money would come in handy when unexpected expenses cropped up, like secretly buying a luxury apartment in Monaco for a totally random woman. And yes, one media outlet claimed that the woman was Putin's mistress, but that's ridiculous. Putin was happily married at the time. And also that media outlet has since been outlawed. Besides, these rumors are completely unfair to the woman's daughter, whose unknown father must be very proud of her and her face that looks absolutely nothing like Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Of course, even a perfect country has some malcontents, but whenever those seeking to undermine Putin's streak of uncorrupt democracy begin to circle him like bloodthirsty sharks, somehow, some way, fate always intervenes on his behalf. There seems, for some reason, to be an extremely high mortality rate among independent journalists and political opponents of Mr. Putin. President Putin dismissed accusations that the Russian state was behind the attack on Mr. Navalny. If our agents had wanted to kill him, he said, they'd have finished the job. Is Russia behind the poisoning of Sergei Skripal? Look, we're busy here with agriculture, and you ask me about some tragedies. Get to the bottom of things there first, then we'll talk about this. Yeah, why doesn't anyone ever ask Putin about his agriculture programs? Like these new bananas he's working on that grow with the poison already inside them. Sure, it's true that some of Putin's critics met untimely ends, but on the other hand, let's move on. We should be talking about agriculture. Naturally, a true champion of democracy doesn't just want it for his own country. He wants it for all people, which is why Putin began tirelessly assisting with elections around the world, sending his digital democracy helpers to gently nudge voters in the right direction. Putin was so amazing at democracy that in 2016, even the world's so-called greatest democracy was asking for his help. Russia, if you're listening, and like the great man he is, Putin answered the call. Tonight, Russian President Vladimir Putin trolling the United States, joking about meddling in the presidential election and saying he'll do it again. I'll tell you a secret. Yes, of course we'll do it. To finally make you happier. Just don't tell anyone. You know what they say. It takes a big man to joke about himself and an even bigger, scarier man to joke about destroying your country. Yeah. That's why in all the world, there is no bigger man than Vladimir Putin. How grateful we are for his 21 year reign, his guaranteed 16 year future reign, and if we should be so fortunate, his 100 year reign that.